One, two, three, four. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I should be sleeping, it's like almost 12.30, but I just finished this really cool thing and I wanted to show you guys. I just updated my Quest ASM file so that you can easily add user profiles to the Quest, delete user profiles from the Quest, switch user profiles, switch between user profiles on the Quest. You don't have to reboot. You don't have to sideload anything. All you have to have is your, your Quest in developer mode. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, check out this video up here. I'll put a link to it or check it in the video description. You will also need ADB. I'll put a link to ADB in the video description. I have one that will install on your system or I'll also put a link to the official uh, website for ADB and just check this out. Now I currently have my Quest connected uh, via USB. All right guys, this is Quest ASM. It's updated. You can modify profiles, you can create profiles, you can delete profiles, you can see the profiles, you can switch between the profiles. You don't have to sideload anything. There's zero sideloading required. All you have to do is be in developer mode. Now check this out. Uh, switch user profiles, you press A, it asks you which one do you want to switch to. We only have one. So we're just gonna hit enter. Um, let's see, create new user profile. Let's see, list pro user profiles. That's where you should start. Only one profile. Okay, so create user profile. B, um, you can name it anything you want. Let's say um, Iron Man. Bam, Iron Man has just been created. It's just that simple. You don't have to sideload anything. And so now, let's say you want to switch to the Iron Man profile. A for switch profiles and says, Okay, so type in the user ID. User ID in this case would be 10. It's the number before the name. So now let's check it out. Hmm, let's see. When you log into a new profile, it'll take about 30 seconds. And then it'll ask you to log in with Facebook or your Oculus account. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my Oculus account. It doesn't really matter. Log in. Oh, I've got two-factor authentication on. So they went, well, sent me a message to my phone. All right, I'm logged in. Now it's just gonna go through the regular steps like you would when you first set up your Oculus Quest. It's telling you how to tighten it and wear it. Just that basic stuff. You have to go through it. Confirm Guardian, it remembers the Guardian from the main profile. All right. All right, and it's just that simple. And if you wanna delete a user profile, see, um, or you want to switch back, A, switch user profiles. Let's see, here, I'll show you. I'm telling you I want to switch to user profile zero, which is the main one, it's the owner. Switching to owner. Boom. It's just that easy. And you don't actually have to be connected to do this. Watch this. We're gonna go enable ADB wireless connection number 12. One, two. Please connect your device. Okay, it's connected. Spacebar. Now disconnect. Now spacebar again. Now we are connected. I'll fire up screen copy again. There we go. Screen copy is there, and we are connected uh, via wireless. We're wirelessly connected. Now you don't have to be physically connected if you set it up like this, and you can still switch users. Let's see. A switch users shows the list of users and we're going to go back to let's go back to iron man number 10 switching to iron man continue boom that's it it's just that easy it's super easy i would also encourage you to check out the other modifications i've made to this file you can actually now select the default resolution of your oculus uh, quest number four and the oculus go uh, number three which is what this originally was made for I got some. I got rid of some old settings, and I specified some settings that are for the Oculus Go only. And you can actually do screen copy. You have to have screen copy in the same directory, but you can do screen copy. It's number tw twenty-five. It asks you what bitrate you want to stream it at. Let's say twenty-five. I've got a fast connection, Wi-Fi connection, and boom, there, uh, there it is. Although you can't use this again until you close screen copy, but uh, yeah. Okay guys, I hope you like that. I hope you find this useful. All the links will be in the video description. 
and you can only add three additional profiles from in addition to the owner profile. So you can only have a total of four. If you try to add any more, it'll just say it can't. So and uh, you have to, when you reinstall an app that's already installed on a different profile, it says it's installing, but it doesn't really install. It doesn't like take up any more space. It just creates its own user data for that application. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys really like this. I spent a lot of time working on this. And I love it. I think it's super fun. I think it's super easy. Uh, you can easily switch between profiles, easily create a profile, don't need anything side loaded at all. All right, if you like this, all right, if you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. But if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks.